so tell us about your work in space archaeology. See, I was working in grassland project. Mm -hmm. That time, I saw some squares, rectangles, circular shapes, triangle, mm -hmm. and I confirmed on ground that those are archaeological sites. I got some pottery, mm -hmm. coins. Then, that time, R.S. Bist was working at Dolavira. Okay. And I discussed with him about extension of Dolavira, and there is one more site to the north of Dolavira. Mm -hmm. He was not ready to believe that. He said, no, nothing, there is no site. But Aswini Asana from now he is at Delhi mm -hmm. and Vyas Rawat mm -hmm. and Alok Tripathi, they came with me. We went on that site and confirmed that that is as old as Dolavira. That's amazing. And later on, I found some more sites in Kutch only. Uh, one was Nara site, Nara Dam near Adhoi. One was near Adesar. One was in Surendranagar district, uh, Lakhtar. Mm -hmm. And I confirmed all sites on ground. Wow. And I got uh, walls, some structures, coins, pottery. But my director at that time, he was not ready to believe that these are archaeological sites. Yes. He was saying that these are fault line or faults. And I discussed with him that we cannot see squares or rectangles and fault line or fault, faults. But he was not uh, convinced. So I got some more uh, data, satellite imagery for Lothal for Dolavira, for Kosambi, Lumbini, Sravasti, Aishatra. That's amazing. And I showed him that, see, these are sites and we are finding this signatures on this data. So, so just to uh, interrupt for a second. So basically you were working in ISRO and you were able to like generate satellite images of these areas and you could detect that there was something different in these areas? Yes. Okay. Actually, I was working was, uh, for grassland mapping. What is grassland mapping exactly? See, on ground or in which, which district there is more grass. Mm -hmm. Agricultural area mm -hmm. and grass area. Right. So, we were mapping grassland. Okay. To know how much grass can we get from those, the, those districts or how much grass is available in that district for cattle of that district. I see. So, <clears throat> I found some signatures and I prepared a paper, I presented a mm -hmm. uh, Strasbourg in France. Mm -hmm. Later on, I presented my work at uh, Hyderabad right. in an international conference, mm -hmm. Cosmic Cities of India. Cosmic Cities, cities of, of India. India. What is Cosmic Cities of India? See, well-planned cities mm -hmm. having square shape, rectangle shape, circular shape, mm -hmm. triangular shape semi-lunar shape and swastik shapes. Okay. As per planning or as per vastu descriptions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whatever is there in Brahmanda, you can prepare plan according to those Brahmand and having true north and grid and then make grids and prepare some uh, colony for merchants, some colony for workers, and some colony for defense people. Some is temple. In center there is a pond or lake and wow. a palace of king. Wow. That way. So have you? So have you found any such old cities during your excavations? These are old cities. All are old cities. Okay. Okay. Lothal is a right. archaeological site. Right. Kosambi is archaeological site. Mm -hmm. Sravasti is ar archaeological site. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dolavira is archaeological site right. and uh, Sravasti and Lumbini is also archaeological mm -hmm. site. 
and in Kutch I got many sites like wow. this. Wow. Even in Great Ramayana of Kutch, I found Vibhakot, mm -hmm. Kajika Karai, okay. Karim Sahi, okay. and Maruda Takkar. That's amazing. So tell me, when you're saying that you see signatures, and then you go and track those places, what kind of, how do they look like on these satellite images? See, how do you know that there is a archaeological see, site there? Satellite shows hmm. features on ground. Okay. So all solar energy which is reflected from sur Earth surface, mm -hmm. it goes to satellite. Okay. Satellite records it. Mm -hmm. It sends data back to our Earth station, mm -hmm. and then we convert the, this. This data is in zero one zero one zero one binary language. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can get uh, different grayscales. Okay. So using those grayscales, we are preparing color code maps. Okay. False color composite mm -hmm. and natural color composite. Okay. We are getting this information mm -hmm. due to vegetation marks, due to soil marks and anomalous structures. Wow. See, if there is a square city or fortified town, all four walls will not have good vegetation on in that area. Okay. Natural area outside Fort Wall, inside Fort Wall, we can get good vegetation. Okay. So you can get shapes of those sites. Okay. I okay. have found these sites in jungle. I have found such sites in deserts. Wow. I have found such sites in even in sea. That's amazing. I have detected one Basta Bandar site in Kori uh, Creek, which is which was underwater. That's amazing. And it has come up and we visited that place. Mm -hmm. This was detected on the shape only, fourth world only. Okay, wow. And we visited that place, we got pottery, mm -hmm. and we dated that this is 210 years back. That's, that's amazing. That means 1819 earthquake, mm -hmm. it might have destroyed. Okay, okay. But uh, all the sites that you have seen, you know, on uh, satellite imagery, have all of them been excavated? Not all of. Okay. There are many sites. Mm -hmm. See, Paddargad and Kutch. Mm -hmm. People were knowing that there is one temple. Okay. But side, about site they were not knowing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I showed them. I took even director archaeology there. Okay. Even at Vigoport, at Karimsai, I took director archaeology there. Mm -hmm. And we confirmed those sites. Other sites in Khawda, and Khadir, mm -hmm. totally destroyed. Okay. But we were getting some soil marks That's because of those structures, underground structures. Okay. Vegetation marks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dando Paddar, Bakri Kot, Rasajina Garda, those are not excavated. Okay. Even Vigokot is not excavated, Karimsai okay. is not excavated, but we have dated those places. Okay. That's we amazing. have taken soil profile, mm -hmm. sediments from that side, and even papers have been published in Kanan Science mm -hmm. and uh, other geological uh, journals. So were you the first person who started this whole thing of uh, space archaeology? Uh, in India, I, I was the first in person India. who showed how archaeological site is can be seen. Okay. Work was started by our center only. Mm -hmm. By your center you mean ISRO? ISRO. ISRO, okay. I presented my mm -hmm. work at uh, Hyderabad in okay. a training course mm -hmm. for archaeologists. Wow. That was uh, around 2001 and 2002. Okay, okay. And what do you think... It, it, is the scope of space archaeology today because I know that in the Western world already space archaeology uh, is you know an emerging field of study and there are already I think there is at least one website that I know of where citizens can also take part in space archaeology because uh, satellite images of archaeological sites are being made available for people to track on their cell phones using apps and in case they see any aberrations in those areas or any looting or anything that's going on, they can actually, you know, stop that. And I think there is a lady called Sarah who recently won the TED Prize of $1 million or something. 
uh, for her work on space archaeology. But I'm actually surprised to know that space archaeology had started in India so many years back. But is it something which is being done now as a practice in India or, and you know, what is the current uh, See, situation? In our country, even people have not started working on that. Okay. One or two students are working on that. Mm -hmm. One student has got a PhD degree also. Our country, though it is non-destructive method, but people are not accepting easily. What, what is the reason for that, according to you? See, we are working as per our old tradition only. Right. And uh, archaeology department, mm -hmm. they have burden of their own work. Right. And there is not enough staff also. Mm -hmm. So, that generally their time goes in court cases right. that I have seen. Mm -hmm. Is there so a now way? new generation, if they start, yes, yes. then it will, there is good future right. of this space archaeology in India also. Right. Is there a way of getting citizens, like normal citizens, you know, people working in offices or just doing other careers, uh, with, the, with the help of, you know, space imaging and artificial intelligence and other new technologies, is, a, is, it, is there a way of getting them more involved in these See, uh, research work? Earlier, even we were paid mm -hmm. for this data. Okay. Now data is free. Right. You can get data from US sites also. Mm -hmm. You can get data of IRS satellite and other satellites also. Mm -hmm. There is Bowen data is available on freely. Okay. Same way Landsat data and IRS data, we, anybody can access. Which websites? Can we see? ISRO website. ISRO website. It's freely available. It's open freely. source. Now it is freely available. Oh, that's interesting. But you can, uh, using those maps, people can see those difference in the solar... Uh, see, there is necessity for training also. Exactly. See, no, everyone will, cannot see this. Mm -hmm. this. They need some training. Absolutely. Students need some training. So do you think, say, people like you, who have done spent so much time already doing this, can create some kind of, you know, training courses for the common people which can be made available or on some charges or whatever. I am which, ready if anybody... I am definitely says, ready to I learn. Am, <laughs> I, I am giving lectures in various agricultural uh, engineering colleges, science okay. colleges, mm -hmm. man, many universities. Right. Last month only I gave two lectures at uh, SP University mm -hmm. and two lectures at Gujarat University. Okay, okay. So, that way I am sharing my experience right 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 that's that's amazing and you know it's great work that you've done and i just hope that this particular branch of space archaeology and even let, takes latest itihas darpan okay has published my article okay. on space archaeology that's amazing and there are gujarati magazines mm -hmm. who have published this work even mumbai sabah are published long back 2002 okay, okay. that's awesome so thank you so much for your time and I hope this thank particular you. branch of space archaeology gets more attention in the near future.